Hello beautiful human, welcome back. I am Jyoti and in today's video we are going to be talking about unsafety, scarcity and lack around food. Subscribe to my channel and I make daily YouTube videos to support you to bring more joy, more ease, more peace into your life. And I am being guided to speak slowly and I like to speak slowly also. when there is a lot of inspiration then i will speak uh, in a very fast tone because the messages are uh, like coming and then there is this energy which is very fast pace but i also like to speak slowly and i'm coming close to my periods and whenever i'm coming close to my periods i like slowness a lot like i become very slow i get i like i like walking slower talking slower just slowness and i have observed that when i am embracing that slowness when i'm allowing myself to be slow i get to pick up what i will never be able to pick up when i am you know fast 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 all the time like of course if that fast pace is like divine pace you know that divine fast energy then it is always welcomed and always allowed but yeah just like slow whenever i'm nervous and angry and when i just really slow down that helps a lot So coming to the topic of the video, fear, lack, scarcity around food, if you are going through that, like if you feel that fear a lot of time, anxiousness around food, feeling like, like you will not have enough and because you are afraid in that um, fear, you get to sometimes eat a lot like okay i will not have it so i'll just in that anxiety you'll just finish everything up and then you overeat and then it hurts your stomach or you don't eat at all because you feel like it will get finished and you will not have so because of that fear in the present moment you keep yourself hungry i want to sh let you know that you're not alone i have had these patterns and so many people I know have these patterns, 90% of them are not even aware about it. And these are not our patterns, these are not our habits, these are not our way of thinking. This is ancestral. These are very ancestral beliefs, these lack, you know when it comes to lack usually lack like the birth of lack is a perspective and a need not getting mad for a long period of time So, if a child does not receive milk when they are hungry consistently day after day, they will develop fear around being hungry and anxiety around being hungry because whenever they are hungry they know that need is not going to get met so 
they will be afraid to be hungry you know so when you feel lack around something dive deep into it what is your deeper need what are you being starved of actually throughout your life how were the people around you when you were a child treated you when you had that need did they shoo you away did they not even acknowledge it and now that lack that we feel it's also the result of like okay this will not need will not be acknowledged of mine this will go unnoticed so then i have to push it away because whatever was not accepted by our parents by our uh, uh, by our society by our families we pushed that part of ourselves completely away and now when in the present moment certain need arises we get afraid the real fear is that i have i will have to push myself away again i will have to believe that i this i am not important my needs are not important i will have to believe that you know there is not enough for me and that is painful so how do we move through this a daily communication with the divine daily practice consistent practice journaling praying getting into sunlight getting into nature reading right books listening to right podcasts the lack that we feel around food is just not limited to the food it is around our needs our emotional needs a need of love need of connection all of it is linked and as you do this work i assure you that there is no lack for you there will never be a day that you will not have the food that is you know your body needs always god universe cares for you it cares for you more than you realize it will always send you more than enough it will take care of you but you have to make the choice first step you have to make the choice to take care of yourself to prioritize yourself just wait a minute Wow. <laughs> the water is really tasty for some reason. Ha. <sighs> oh.
I am um, coming close to my periods and I feel like very tired. Our fears around food are the reflection of the energies that we felt around us in our family when we were child. If you were constantly around people that treated you poorly and then you develop lot of fear, lot of anxiety, lot of helplessness around them. So then in order to keep yourself safe, you become hyper focused on them. Like I need to make sure that that person, my auntie, my uncle, my mommy, my daddy, my brother feels okay, they feel calm, you become your, you become their ally so that they're, uh, they are feeling good and then you can feel safe. Because you were aware that your source for what you need are the people that are around you. If they are the source of your needs, I have to manage them and food is also the source of energy that our body needs. Now we have the same energy dynamics with the food and we remain in that energy energetic dynamics until we become aware and we change the pattern by choosing to think differently, by prioritizing breathing slower, prioritizing being in nature, daily journaling, by creating a positive environment and asking God, like God, come in my environment take in take over my environment like divine energies are taking over my environment right now divine energies are taking over my mind my aura divine energies are taking over my body bones and blood divine energy is taking over my organs divine energy is taking over my cells divine o energy is taking over my skin divine energy is taking over my head my hair my bones every every everything divine energy is taking over everything when we welcome divine energies god energy into our life we come to realize that there is no lack in God mother earth has abundance the separation that we have created from that abundance was actually a way of thinking 
when we change our way of thinking through prayer and when we realize that inside our body the life that we have in the body is that God energy, is that divine energy. Without that, we are lifeless. And when that energy is running in our bodies, how can we be separate from lack? How can this thought that, you know, our needs will not be met can be true? How can this thought that, you know, lack can live in our lives or flourish in our lives or lack is true? How can that be true? Like lack can not be the reality of our, of our lives. When a child is hungry, because it is asking for food and there is a mother who is thinking very poorly, like okay, we don't have food, we are not, uh, we are not rich enough to provide the food for our children. Or she is afraid. A child will continue to trigger her, her own lack, her own lack of creativity in getting the needs met. And that only exists because of lack of prayer. When we pray, things manifest for us. Our creativity blossoms. And God is creative. You, we see around ourselves, our environment in earth, how creative that God energy is. Creativity and prosperity is directly linked. I don't want to talk about in this video how you can have more food. Because there already is more than enough food in this world. I want to talk about you creatively, you and your own creativity. Now you may think that what about people in Africa who don't actually have it? I am not here to criticize or demean anybody or make fun of anyone's problem but with lot of compassion I share with you that it is a A reflection if lot of news and you experience or when we are experiencing these kind of situation again and again in our lives 
it's because that lack is reflecting back to us lack of gratitude that we have within us it's everything is a mirror in this reality so whatever you see in others in others environments is a direct reflection of your inner world so i request you to turn your focus inward towards yourself your mind what is going inside of it when you are filling your mind with so much of lack what is not enough what is not happening you are creating a lack of gratitude you are corrupting your focus and that focus must be on all the blessings that you have around you in your life when you are filling yourself up with gratitude you will naturally be inspired by the divine energy that you are inviting in your life with gratitude and that energy will inspire you to do something that will be of use for the world but constantly reading about problems constantly learning about the lack is not helpful when you your attention is focused upon god and creating receiving guidance from the divine energy from the higher power i am calling different different names because it's the same energy we just we can call it any name when we are focused upon on our our relationship with it their energy guides us to be creative and there is a creative solution for everything every single thing everything lack is a re- result of lack of creativity and when we are creative our mindset is one that blossoms the good results for us and you become a match to creative solutions when you are filled with gratitude so i ask you to turn off these news channels turn off that noise and sit with yourself all the darkness that you experienced in your life to put 
bring that focus back to you experience that feel the sensations of it because your focus it may feel like it's going to kill you sitting with yourself and diving deep into yourself but what truly is going to happen is that you will ignite the light within yourself when you see it hear it feel it you heal it with your attention and you can always ask god purify my focus purify my attention purify my intentions purify my mindset there is more than enough for you and for everybody more than enough more more than enough of everything that each one of us wants everything and there is more than enough to go around for every one of us you are not separate from the goodness of god from the abundance of god you are one with it one with all the goodness excuse me one with all the goodness one with all the prosperity one with all the you know ripe fruits that you want to eat and um whatever that it is you want you know you are one with it when you say a prayer like god purify my attention intention and focus you will start to want better things for your life for yourself maybe right now because you feel like oh my god there is uh, you have learned that you know ancestral patterns like okay let's just eat like a cheap eat eat like a cheap food you know that may be unhealthy that may be like very like some noodles or maggi which is cheaper than a fruit that way of thinking and being starts to change you start to want healthier things for yourself and i remember i want to share i've been i'm being guided to share a personal story with you ha <sighs> so few years ago when i was lot a lot of uh, my mindset was focus on lack and that was a reflection of my childhood i grew up in um um my aunt i grew up with my aunt because my parents were in village and they sent me to my aunt to have education and we uh, i remember her being so fearful and um tense around food she would not give me food she would give food to um her children and not me i never had any f- freedom around food like i will eat it if she gives me if she doesn't then i don't have the freedom to ask for it i don't have the freedom to go by myself in the kitchen and pick up what i want because that is not allowed and she will start to beat me up one time i remember i ate some sweet from the kitchen i was a child i just saw it and um it it was i was very little and it was before i could start to register the unsafety i have with her and in the environment i just went and picked it up and eat it after that she beat me up like crazy i was very little i i became so afraid and then after that i started to develop a lot of fear around food because i was always afraid of her a lot of things happened but anyway when i turned 23 i came across a very good video of satvik movement and i was like and sh- in that video if you don't know about it um 
it's sattvic movement you can just share it uh, like search for it and um, it's a very uh, was a very beautiful video that changed my life and i have their book also i can show subha and surf uh, subha surf and uh, oh my god harsh is the founder of the i am really forgetting things but um but yeah so but in the video she shares about very healthy way of being and eating and i was like oh, that's so expensive at that time i thought and then i oh wow i will never forget that day and that moment because it was so wow i was sitting with my fears and that anxiety and that you know ah uh, how should i explain that that kind of fear which is very dark i was just sitting with it and before that i have always like numbed it with something through eating cheese through eating some junk food you know or through like some substances because at that time i was with hanging out with people who would do you know lot of uh, smoke ups like drugs all these things so that was my first like real interaction with that my fear and my darkness and anxiety because they were trying to convince me that you know i can't afford to live a healthy life because it's expensive now i don't care because i know god's god wants the best for me so whatever i want is there and um it happens like really fast like yeah if that is in the highest good of me is in the highest good of everybody and that things just align for me okay now i know that at that time i didn't and when i was just having my first interaction with that in that interaction i heard that voice that you are my child and i will provide and that was the voice of the mother earth and she was telling me that you are my child and i will provide and after that i started to invest my money into fruits i started to a uh, right letter to mother earth that mother earth send me ripe papaya send me ripe watermelons send me right guidance what to eat because i was always anxious uh, confused like oh my god what should i eat what should i eat and like there's lot of information out there lot of it and uh, some people say that this is healthy this is not healthy this is good this is not good and uh what not and i wanted to be guided and i started to pray and i started to receive right guidance for me and um wow so i would um i shared this story with you because through prayer i got the courage through prayer i moved out of that separation that false separation from the oneness from the god's prosperity god's ease god's flow you know and uh, yeah i have a guided meditation heal your life that will support you in plucking out these limiting beliefs healing the lack these ancestral patterns the link of is it in my description and you can book a one on one session with me as well everything is in the description if this message helped you supported you in some way you can also leave a loving donation and uh, you can comment 
if there is something else you want to talk me to make a video upon that will be helpful for you and many others Yeah.